Hello and welcome to Unique Guitar. My name is Bruno Ferreira and today we'll dig into this question I have had for a while, ever since I read and heard Fernando Sor being called Beethoven of the guitar. We'll start by reviewing the context of the classical guitar in the beginning of the 19th century. Then we'll talk about the personality and music of Fernando Sor and Beethoven respectively, and for that I gathered a few books and went on the internet to find out more. So let's begin. After the prolific era of the Baroque guitar and the lute in the 17th and 18th century, there was no relevant expression of the music for guitar as a solo instrument up until the late 1700s. The golden age of classical guitar, known today as a romantic guitar, with six or more single strings, was about to begin in the year of 1780 until the second half of the 19th century. This period might have been the most bright and prosperous time for classical guitar in which guitarists were surrounded and had contact with the greatest composers of that era, especially in the middle of the Obermania. In a review published in 1864, we can find references of Giuliani's presence in Vienna, working with important figures in the musical circle, which was remarkable for a solo guitarist. Music and other kinds of art were highly sponsored by patrons and royal families, Fortunately, guitar has had space in this circle too, not only in Vienna, but also in another large music capital in the beginning of the 19th century, Paris. A lot of great guitarists were sprouting all around Europe, and guitar quickly became popular, not only among amateurs, but also professionals. Comparing source solo guitar sonatas to the music of Haydn or Beethoven, he is perhaps for obvious reasons not very reasonable in respect to the music texture and timbres an orchestra or string quartet can offer. However, Soar had huge experience with orchestration and definitely had this configuration in mind whenever he composed music for a guitar, and he kind of succeeded to create a resemblance of the orchestra in a very particular manner. In his famous Fantasy Op. 7, which is written in regular notation for guitar, Fernando Soar rewrote this work in two staves using three different claps. He also explained how to divide the guitar according to the different registers of the orchestra. Although it might be difficult to learn to play this fantasy by using this alternative notation, I find it very interesting and useful to understand what instruments would be associated to a given melody, and choosing the fingerings and articulation accordingly. Sor also gives in his method for guitar very clear instructions to imitate instruments of the orchestra, such as a horn, trumpet and oboe and even mentioned what instruments he intended to play on some of these compositions. Sor was a prolific composer. He was also a great singer, an excellent pianist and guitarist, and a great teacher. The question is actually, what was he not? I think it makes more sense to consider him a composer and a musician more than a guitarist. His music shows abundant melodic material, elegance and a very clear knowledge of style and composing skills. Besides all his vast guitar repertoire, Sor composed two operas, three symphonies, eight ballets, vocal and instrumental music. I gave myself the opportunity to listen to source music for pianoforte and orchestra, and I immediately realized that his personality couldn't ever be shown through the guitar alone. His genius is definitely beyond mastering an instrument. I've been playing his music for guitar for years, so I felt it was about time I dedicate myself to try to understand the core of the music by Fernando Sor and see if we could ever answer the question I proposed in the beginning of this video. Let's look into the musical elements of both Sor and Beethoven's music. In Sor's music it's clear the imitation of the large spectrum of instruments of the orchestra.
as opposed to the majority of the composers that opt to play in uh, easier keys for the guitar, with more open strings or not too many accidentals, Soar uses sometimes less conventional tonalities to the guitar repertoire, and even scoratura to explore different colors of the instrument, for example by playing in C minor or B flat major, which are rather uncommon. Beethoven was a huge fan of counterpoint. He composed a great few for string quartet and employed contrapuntal resources in several of his works. Both Soar and Beethoven composed works inspired in the Napoleonic Wars that took place in the beginning of the 19th century when Napoleon Bonaparte invaded Spain, Portugal and Germany in order to extend the French Empire against the United Kingdom. Soar, being raised in the Montserrat Monastery and getting a religious education, has had always a connection with the church and it's quite visible in his sacred works. Beethoven composed plenty of sacred music as well. Even though we can't compare it with the greatness and genius of Beethoven and his impact on the generation of composers to come, I think Fernando Sor has left a remarkable heritage, not only through his repertoire for guitar, but also through numerous works he composed for other instruments. And in my opinion, that was groundbreaking for the music for guitar, and it definitely influenced the forthcoming generation of guitarists. And a final note to close this video, there are plenty of similarities between both composers within their own dimension. Their backgrounds are quite different and disconnected indeed, but I can still see some connection between both, especially when I look into their inspiration in the music of Haydn and Mozart, their forward thinking and the way they impacted music, not only in the art of playing the instrument, but also through their intellectual and spiritual contribution. And that might be the reason that Sora is often called or considered the Beethoven of the guitar. But you let me know in the comment section below what you think of this. I recommend you to read the English translation of Source Method to get an idea of what he was striving for with his music for guitar. I hope this was an interesting video and that it triggered your inner nerd to read and do a background check whenever you play and listen any sort of music. I have enjoyed and learned a lot making this video and I look forward to work on the next one. Let me know your opinions in the comment section below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.